Well, hello everybody. It's Rob Z from RobZTraining.com. And today on this video blog post, I just wanted to show you a really cool thing I'm doing with my students in, in my classroom, which is TechSmith Relay. You're going to hear a lot about this. It just came out a few weeks ago, um, and I am loving how it works, especially this week, and I, here's why. Uh, we're working on a spreadsheet project right now, and as you can see, this is a Google Doc that I use with all of the steps laid out. Now, I like using this format as kind of my, my roadmap, if you will, the workflow, where students can follow along and see, okay, step one, I'm going to create a new Google spreadsheet. Now, for most of them, they've never done that before, so I have a little play button here. And when they click the play button, they will be led to a video that looks like this. And I'll play a couple seconds so you can see how this goes. Click button. So click create. And we need to create a spreadsheet. So that shall be the green one. Click on that. So that's how they learn from me. Instead of me standing live in front of the class to 20, 30 some kids saying the same thing, the same way, the same pace, this way the kids now can be in the driver's seat. They get to hit play, pause, and rewind and learn from me when they're ready for a particular step rather than when I'm ready to deliver that information to them. And as you can imagine, with six different steps here, some kids are going to fly through them and some are going to need to watch them more than once in order to understand the concept. So kind of outsourcing my teaching to myself digitally has really been helpful to make sure that every kid gets individualized and attention. And that frees me up from standing here in front of the class. I can walk around the room and work with small groups of students or individual kids, which I never was able to do before the flipped class concept where I had to basically lecture all period or, or lecture for half the period and then, you know, go to work and everybody hopefully gets it right. So now you learn as you need it with these steps. So here's the real beauty behind uh, TechSmith Relay. You make your videos, and okay, you can see I made this video, but check this out. Along the video, suddenly, let me hit play here, there and you're ready to go. Suddenly the video stops and a little take quiz comes up. The child can click take quiz and they get to answer one of the questions that I put in the timeline. I want to see if they're understanding the concept and I want to make sure that they're actually watching the videos too because this could be happening from home and not when they're here in the classroom with me. So I've built in a series of questions right along the timeline. When they submit their answers, every night I get an email from TechSmith Relay that says here's the results, here's the percent of correct answers, uh, here's the percent of videos that they watched because maybe they answered 100% of the questions but they only watched 70% of the content. You know, in other words, they're guessing and getting them right. So it's really cool. And here's what you have as the creator of the video. I can go right here to my analytics. This is really cool because now I can see my students and see what percentage of the video that they watched. In fact, this is a big list, so I'm going to break it down by the partial completion. So these students started the video, but for whatever reason, they didn't finish it. And you have a breakdown there. Completed tab shows you the students that did complete it. And then they give you a nice overall global completion rate. Out of 124 people that started viewing this particular video, 64% uh, of them have completed it. And that would make sense to me right now because I just started this project uh, a day and a half ago. So I'll check back here in a couple days and see if everyone has watched it. And that ensures that they are actually just uh, watching the videos and not guessing their way through the project. Because as you can imagine, with making a spreadsheet for the very first time, and learning a lot of different tools together at once can be very confusing for kids uh, and adults too, I should say. So just wanted to show you that in today's video blog post. Um, this has been a great way to make sure that every child receives the instruction when it makes sense for them, not when it makes sense for me to deliver it to the masses. So flip learning, screencasting with text and stuff has been awesome. So thank you for watching. This has been Rob Z from Rob Z Training. And feel free to subscribe to my teacher blog anytime. Thank you.